What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the best stub methods in MLB The Show 22. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, help with the algorithm, and turn your notifications on. Make sure you're one of the first people to be alerted whenever a new video comes out. Let's get into today's stub methods. So the number one method to make a lot of stubs is the events. Now, a lot of people do not like to play online gameplay, but I haven't played ranked except two games this whole year, and I played the Moonshot. I'm up to 17 wins, so you're gonna be getting packs right here where you have a chance to make stubs. This card right here alone is 16,000 stubs. And all through this, you have a chance to pull these cards that's gonna give you stubs. That would be over 30 to 35,000 stubs if you were to get both of them. Then you're gonna get this card right here, who's another 12,000 stubs. He was up to about 19,000 stubs. Okay, you're gonna get this at 15 wins. It don't have to be wins in a row, just 15 wins total. Okay, and the moonshot event, the best way to play it is put your betting on timing hitting. Only thing you have to do is wait for the ball to come in the zone. You don't have to move your PCI or none of that. Timing hitting. When the ball gets to a certain spot in the zone, you swing and you're going to have an 80 to 90% better chance at a home run or a base hit. The second way to make a lot of stubs is investments. And my channel has been based on investments for a lot of years. So as you can see, I've been buying cards. I bought Cedric Mullins and then I bought Jazz Chisholm on my team because every time I get up to over 100,000 stubs, then I would turn around and make investments to help my team out. So you can see the Tim Selman right here, I sold for 12,000 stubs by getting the 15 wins. Now, I've been investing in a lot of cards. I kept telling y'all, Owen Miller is gonna be a long-term investment. With you spending only 118 to 120 stubs, he will go up to the 2,000 to 3,000 range pretty soon. So you're gonna be making over a two thousand profit on each one of them i'm gonna make sure that i have at least 100 to 150 of these cards because if they are going for two thousand a piece in the next month that is going to be three hundred thousand stubs another investment is nick castellanos you can see i was buying him for 900 i'm expecting for him to get around the 1500 to two thousand range that means i will be making a 1500 stub profit on each one of these all total with my investments once i have seven to nine different investments and if i can make eighty thousand or more off of each one of them i would be sitting at over seven hundred thousand stubs no money spent another way is the april monthly awards program now if you don't follow what other people are doing and you look at this card at the end you're gonna get this 91 overall. Real good card, but he's a right-handed better. Me, myself, I like left-handed betters or switch hitters. So, I don't know if I'm gonna get this card. He's a 91 overall. You can go plus five with his stats. He would be up to a 96 overall. He will be good for the next two, two and a half months, but other cards will come out. He only has 77 speed in the outfield, so there's a lot of cards that's gonna come out way better than him. Now, with these other cards that you're gonna get, the prices have went down, but you can see this card right here is 6,000 stubs. This card is 3,000 stubs. All these cards were high, they went down, so you can make investments with these same cards. 1753, go get yourself four to five of these you go to another card that's pretty cheap 1805 go get yourself four to five of these they will be needed later on down the road in this game this 1805 that you are paying for this card should go back up to about seven thousand stubs so if they go up to seven thousand stubs and you have seven of these seven times seven is 49 you will make about 49 
thousand stubs off of this. 2,400 will turn into 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 stubs. That's over a three to 4,000 stub value. If you are investing early like I'm doing, I haven't locked none of these cards in. I still have each one of these cards that I can sell because I'm not too sure if I wanna get this 91 overall card, but I know how the game works and I know better cards in the outfield will come out. Once you parallel him up, he will be a very, very good card. Over 80 speed, over 90 arm, diamond defense, diamond hitting. I know there will be better cards later on down the road. That's just how the game works. So if you are an investor and you just wanna make a lot of stubs, you don't play online a lot, these cards are beneficial to you and a lot of other cards that come out through the program and i'm gonna always be giving you guys roster updates and good investments on this channel so drop a thumbs up this is short but this is a way that you can make a lot of stubs in the game stay tuned because it's going to be a lot more videos pumping out with these same type of concepts let's go